Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Frida. I am I am a photographer and personal branding specialist. If you aren't subscribed, please do. I create lots of content based around my life living in Stockholm and tips about Sweden and some photography tips and some personal branding info. So in this video I'm talk I'm going to talk about being plant-based in Stockholm. First of all, a little bit of a backstory. I haven't ate meat since I was 17 and then I stopped eating fish when I was around 19 and then I became vegan in about 2020 and now I am predominantly plant-based because I really don't like to put the label on myself saying I'm vegan now because it feels I feel like some aspects of my life aren't completely vegan. For example, I bought a leather purse wallet thing when I was away with a friend in Turkey. I didn't realize actually, and I was like, oh shit. And yeah, some there are some cases where I accidentally eat things that might have dairy in. I would never eat meat. I just cannot go near meat near meat. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but I can't eat meat. Like that's something I've can't imagine. It's been a bit too long for that. I'm not about that life. So I am plant-based anyway. So I'm going to talk about this video and what it's like being plant-based in Stockholm, whether it is easy, whether it's challenging, and my favourite lunch places to go for plant-based meals. So first of all, I'm going to say it's easy. It's really, really easy to be plant-based in Stockholm. And I personally feel that a lot of countries inside the EU are very very accessible when it comes to being plant-based although in sweden they eat a lot of fish meat and eggs that is a huge part of the swedish diet it's really not hard to be vegan to be plant-based to get those veggies in and get the vegan alternatives if that is what you like to eat as well so yeah you will find that when you come here people love their fish they love their prawns their crayfish and people love their meat and they love eggs caviar things like that but it's it's not hard to be vegan. You will just be around a lot of meat, basically. So I thought I'd just share with you my favorite lunch places first in Stockholm because there are four lunch places which I absolutely love for vegan options, for vegan lunch, vegan brunch, or vegan snacks and drinks, etc. So the first one is Holy Greens. Holy Greens is a salad bar which I adore. I adore a salad, like I'm not gonna lie. It's not like it's just leaves and I used to think a salad was just leaves. Holy Greens is not like that. They have so many variations of salads. Not all of them are vegan of course, but there are vegan options and you can just substitute whatever. They have vegan meats or they just have vegetables or you they have salad bowls with chicken. You can just remove the chicken etc. It's really really accessible and the salads just have so much flavour and it's really not a high price point either. You spend about 120 crowns on a salad and it's really really yummy. A really nice lunch that's going to give you more energy. That is one of my favourite places to go if I want to get a takeaway lunch or if I want to eat in. It's still a really nice vibe. So that first one is Holy Greens. My second one is Body Buddy. I absolutely adore Body Buddy. I do actually work part-time in Body Buddy but I am not biased. Am I biased? Maybe a little bit but like honestly the food there is amazing. Even if you aren't vegan then they have lots of options but if you are vegan they have so many options and they have lots of like fika things and they have drinks and they have the most delicious vegan salads and vegan like dessert things so body buddy and it's really really pretty and if you are like me and you like working in cafes then body buddy is the place they also have lots of breakfast options like overnight oats chia pudding and coconut yogurt things like that so it's nice to go there for breakfast or you can go for lunch or you can go for breakfast and lunch that's like a great day when you're just working 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 and you need breakfast and lunch and the third one i love is kale and crave kale and crave is a salad place i'm pretty sure they like only do salads but the salads that they do are next level they are so special so they are a bit more bougie i guess the prices are a bit higher and um, but the salads are amazing so it's more like a you know, if you want to go with a friend and have a really nice lunch, then Kale and Crave is amazing and they do really nice vegan salads. And then my fourth and final lunch place is Mahalo. Mahalo is completely vegan. They also do brunch. They do the, these amazing vegan pancakes. But if you want lunch, then they do 
so many lunch bowls and they're all vegan i always forget that mahalo is a completely vegan restaurant slash cafe so they do lots of lunch bowls and they are all vegan and they are big and they are filling and i think they do a burger as well so it's a great place to go for lunch for brunch for with friends on your own to work it's a really nice vibe and that is my fourth lunch place if you are plant-based or vegan in stockholm and now i thought i'd just touch on a little bit of the food shopping here so if you are plant-based in stockholm and you are living here and you want to go food shopping then there is so much variety so they have all the milks and all the yogurts way more than we had in the uk i actually think the big food shops here have more plant-based alternatives than we had in the uk especially when it comes to the milks and the yogurts and even like the freezer things they are pretty full i find especially in Ica and villies for example they have lots and lots of dairy alternatives for sure as well as meat alternatives but i feel like they have more dairy alternatives and i think that's because sweden love their yogurt and love their milk and love their cheese and dairy products so that is why they have lots of vegan alternatives the fruit and the vegetable selection is really really good the only thing with fruit and vegetables in stockholm is i do find that they are quite pricey more than the uk anyway like getting the basics you know like getting fruit and veg can sometimes like really put the prices up but they definitely don't cost as much as if you are buying the alternatives like if you are buying fake meats for example they cost more than buying fruits and veg and natural food so if you are shopping in stockholm and if you are plant-based then there are lots and lots of really good food options and um, lots of alternatives for you if you like that and if you do like if you are more of like a raw vegan or plant-based as in you don't eat the substitutes then there are lots of options and i usually think that this is like the cheapest way to be vegan to be honest if you are just sticking to the basics you are sticking to plants like pure plants like quinoa and bulgari and couscous things like that and tofu then it's actually really good and I think it can be quite a cheap way. The only way that I end up spending a lot when I go food shopping is if I go to the more expensive supermarkets or if I am buying lots of alternatives like fake meats and fake cheeses and lots of oat milk. That's the only way that I manage to like spend a lot. But I personally am moving away from a lot of the alternatives now so I am going a bit more like raw plant-based or a bit more natural I guess. So for me it's actually working out a really good price i just thought i'd touch on that in case that is something that is in your mind if you have any more questions about this just leave them in the comments below because i always love chatting in the comments so that brings me to the end of this video being plant-based in stockholm and what it is like if you did enjoy this video do let me know in the comments below let me know what you want to see next let me know if you have any questions and also my links are below if you do want to follow me on instagram for example i'm always happy to connect and chat on there too so thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video have a beautiful day week month life bye